Well, in this video, I want to demonstrate how to unroot your LG G4 on Lollipop. Okay. So one of the things that you do with the LG phone when you want to get it into download mode, which is what you have to do, is you have to press the volume up key, turn it off, which is power it off, press the volume up key, and then plug the phone in. So let me do that real quick. Once you plug it in, this is going to show up on your screen right here. That's what showed up on my V10. And then firmware update is going to pop up next. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to get it to come in clearer. Firmware update. It's a little blurry, but I mean a little thin. Here you see it's in download mode. And you can't really see it that good because I have a glare on the phone. But you see the firmware update and it's twisting. And then you see here it says 72, 73, 74%. This is the LG UP. And you see the version phone I have is the VS986. This is the Verizon version. You see that it was running the VS98611 a And I'm now putting the VS... 98611 um, KDZ on it, which will then unroot it. It was rooted, so um, I'm running this program, and um, that once this is done, the phone will be unrooted. So, while it's going through that, let me take you through the steps that I did to get me here. Now, essentially, I went to this uh, website on XDA um, which you can see the address there and um, this is how to root the phone on Marshmallow and it gives you all the different versions T-Mobile, Verizon, International, AT&T, Sprint right and it gives you the different tools you need to do that but meanwhile it lets you know that if you're already rooted you have to unroot it to root it so it, you have to click this link here um, and number two and it says open the forum when you go here this gives you all the information on what you need to download um, in order to get your phone back to stock so I'm gonna put the links um, in my description for the KDZ and um, for the links to the um, zip file that you have to download that bring, that creates the LGUP and it's a zip file and let's see if I can find it um, you can see that the KDZ is labeled with its own name you see it's the V VS98611 okay so that's that but then you're going to need this L-G-U-P-N-E-W. When you get that, you're going to need to unzip it. So you got to open it. And then once you open it, you're going to need to choose to extract it. You choose your location, which for me, it was my desktop. So I came here. I chose desktop. I pressed OK took a few seconds and it was unzipped on my computer now the phone just rebooted or turned off for a second as you can see nothing's on the screen now let's go back to the LG UP oh and an Android came up to let us know that's Linux it's their little thing it's their way of letting us know something's going on so let's open the LG says it's 85% done if you look here but the Verizon logo is booting up and after this it should be 
ready to go. So went to 88, so now during the boot, the number's steady climbing. So it's doing something during the boot process. Okay, so then the next thing you do, once you unzip it, you have to get this file here, which is the LG UP8994 and the LG UP store, and you have to install those. And simply, the easiest thing to do is just right click and press install for both. Okay, now you can see it's optimizing. Now you can see it that well. But it's optimizing, so it's actually starting up. Once you do that, the next thing I did was I restarted my computer. Because whenever I install something or uninstall something on a computer, it's kind of best practice if you want things to continue to function to just restart. So I restarted the computer. And then when I started it back up, this LG UP was here. The other thing you're going to have is you're going to have a common folder that's going to come inside of these. Let me just open this up again so you can see. This common folder here, when you unzip that, it says common. When you unzip that, you're going to need to go... It's in the instructions, but I'm going to show you really quickly. You're going to need to go to the um, LG folder within the computer. So you go to your Windows C drive. You go to Programs um, x86, LG Electronics, LG UP model and there you can see I pasted the common folder there you're gonna to have to be administrator so it's gonna ask you for administrator um, permission so if you're not signed in as the administrator you're not gonna be able to do this process um, and then once you do that you um, plug your phone in uh, while it's off you hit the volume up button and essentially what's gonna happen is it's gonna enter download mode once it enters download mode, you're going to want to start this and run this as an administrator too. And then the next thing, see it says it can't see it. Sometimes when the phone takes a second to come on, it doesn't see it. And it won't, this won't turn on unless a phone, unless it detects the phone. So that's one of the ways that's good about this program is that if it detects the phone, it'll definitely load up so you'll know you're ready to go. Um, but as you can see, look, we are here at the startup menu and we're at a clean, fresh, new install. So now I've input you know everything signed into my Google account and it says that it is restoring the device and um, the next step would be just to verify what version of Android that we're on but the phone is on and it's working okay, so here we have in the in the next step the instructions say to extract the image file from the rooted um, uh, system file that we now have. Now, um, just to show you here. first steps were um, gotta find the plug here first steps were me taking my rooted LG G4 and unrooting it um, and of course the way 
I knew I was rooted is now the way I know I'm not. Applications that require a root say fail. Um, I never had a visible super user, but as you can see, even here, it's I went go to get, do super user, and it says that the super user app is no longer there. Um, let me try to pull back some. So you can see it when I tap it. So I uh, tap super user. It's no longer installed. I no longer have root. And so the next thing that I have to do is now update it. So what I did was I went into my um, settings. I'll get it to come up here. Um, went into my settings, went into about phone, nope, went into system updates, I'm sorry, told it to check for an update, said I had one, asked me did I want to download it, and now as you can see, downloading software, okay, from, and of course it, the carrier is Verizon, so it's now currently downloading, um, marshmallow so I'm going to come back uh, when the phone has been updated um, and then we're going to go through the process of rooting marshmallow so this is also how you can get stock back if you want to unroot this has been how to unroot your LG G4 on a lollipop using the LG UP and the lollipop KDZ. I hope that this video helps someone. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.